fearless. Run it up. Man, y'all need to start tuning in to the YouTube channel, The Bingo's Genius Show. It is time for the new season. We've officially began. All right, that's it. Enough of 2021. It was fantastic. Never be forgotten, but time to move on. All right? The new schedule came out, and for the first time in Bengal history, we get to beat down the Pittsburgh Steelers on the opening week. Now, this is amazing to me on many levels. To me, this is like... This is honestly a sacrificial lamb for the Bengals. This is like a reward for all the things we've put up with. And it's the NFL saying, recognizing, like, look, guys, clearly there's a change in the guards. Here's your sacrifice. We're going to sacrifice the Steelers, beat the bejesus out of them to open the year. And it's going to be great. I'm going to be there, who day? It's going to be so, it's going to be phenomenal. I uh, can't wait. So, the schedule, hey, it's tough, man. It's a Super Bowl appearance schedule. That's what it is. You know, you get there and this is what goes with it. But I'm not afraid, my friend. This is what we want to see happen now the schedule the first quarter of the year would be tough if it was the 70s but hey right now we're the dynasty here all right so you know i'm not gonna go through week by week because you know there's always a little upset here and there all right so pittsburgh and dallas back to back that is gonna be so much fun because really dallas is one of the most overrated organ they're so overrated it it's pathetic and that's going to be a lot of fun beating the crap out of them. Uh, I think Dak Prescott's overrated. I think the whole team's a dysfunctional mess. Uh, we know Pittsburgh, we're very familiar with those guys. And now that Zach Taylor and the boys have their number, I'm not sweating that at all. So that's going to be fantastic. The Jets, you know we got to have some revenge for the Jets, man. After last year's debacle. So I, I just can't wait to see Kappa, Karras... And my man Collins just crushing people left and right. Oh, it's going to be tight and right. And I think Volson will end up being the starter at left guard. That's what I'm going to predict early on. So then the Dolphins. Oh, two of us, Burrow. We're going to be going 4 0 on Thursday night football. That's going to be awesome. You know, uh, you know, there was a, a video that came out. It was Tua throwing a nice, wobbly, underthrown ball to Tyreek Hill. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Tyreek Hill had to run to the end zone and then run back to the 40-yard line to catch the ball. So it was nice to see him run fast. But, oh, I'm licking my chops for that one there. Uh, the Saints, you know, that'll be what it is. Um, you know, I'm not going to, the Brownies, hey man, I'm not going to talk trash about the Brownies until we actually beat them. So, so we'll see what, you know, for that, beat the Steelers again, Titans, the Chiefs, you know, the Chiefs are, are done. I, I'm very convinced they're done. The Titans, I look for the Bengals to be 11 and 6. That's the, that's what I think is going to be. You know what, actually, it, it might be more, uh. It could be. I think it's going to be actually 12 and 5. 12 and 5. Whatever it is, we're going to be the number one seed in the AFC. And one of these teams, and it's not going to be us, is going to fall apart that's, that's expected to be good. And it could be Buffalo. It is so funny to me how Buffalo fans are somehow feel like they were robbed in some sense. Like uh, stopping someone overtime with some kind of illegal rule of some sort. I mean, come on, man. I mean, that's what you got to do. And the fact, and I'll tell you what is so impressive, the more, you know, the 427 times I've watched this Bengals team beat the Chiefs uh, in the last game of the season, the championship game, was the adjustments at halftime. To be down 18 points, you know, and come back, both instances, 
it just really shows you how the team is tuned up and they're ready to go. But finally, we're going to protect Joe, as we all know. And uh, this year is going to be a crazy year like no other year the Bengals have ever had, which will be another, you know, another feather in my boy's cap here, you know. Like how many different things can he accomplish that's never been done before. So this will be beating the Steelers week one. Um, I, I don't know. It's, it's hitting 6,000 yards. I fully expect him to hit 6,000 yards this year. Um and this, and people are going to see just they're going to their minds are going to be blown by what's going to go on this year. Now that we're going to protect Joe, the team is experienced, gelling, gets to work an off season together. I mean, it's just a long list of things that are just it's clear as clear can be. We are going to be a smoke show, and um, the, the last quarter of the year is definitely going to be brutal. Though we got. You know, the Buccaneers, uh, Patriots, Buffalo, and the Ravens. But here's the thing. Here's another thing, okay? Joey B is always better the second time he plays a team. So the fact that this will be the first time he faces the Bills and the Patriots and the Buccaneers, it's, it's just all it is is money in the bank. I don't even care about the outcomes. And by then, we'll already have a playoff spot clinched. So now it's just going to be a matter of Joey and the rest of the team all the the whole gang just figuring out what the other you know what the other thing the, the ways they're going to try to stop us and all that and it's clear we can adjust to anything so it, it's just this is part of the plan baby i went back and i you know did some research and ohio state when joe played there he got hurt his first year sound familiar i'll go ding ding that happened then he got hurt with Cincinnati his first year. The second year, he went to LSU as a starter. And what happened? They went to a bowl game. Ding. What they do in Joey B's second year? Went to a bowl game. The Super Bowl. All right? Ding. They didn't win it. They win it all. And then what happened the third year is people witnessed the greatest season in college history. And... That will never be duplicated. I don't think what they did that year, when you consider the opponents they faced and everything, 15 and 0, had every, there was every possible difficult game you could imagine Alabama, Clemson, Georgia, spank, spank, and spank. And that is what this year is going to be. To me, it's a mirror. It's a mirror looking into each other of how his career went in college and how the kid, huh? how it's going to go on the pros. So I would say 17 and 0, but hey, there's always going to be a little blip here and there, but you know, the the games where I look back at the Charger game this year where they really gave that game away with the fumbles, the turnovers and over and over and that's not happening anymore. So, and I don't think none of you guys can hang in a shootout. I just don't see it happening. So Blue Skies, five, five prior times games, which I hate. I like 1 o'clock Sundays. This way, I don't got to sit around and wait all day. Like, I like winning the first at 1 o'clock. Then I can enjoy the other games to see how it affects us, you know. But with, with these late start games, I'm just sitting there all day waiting. I don't even watch it, to be honest with you, because I'm, I'm nervous and I'm amped up. So, because I got... Uh, many disorders as regards to the Bengals, but whatever, man. Don't judge me. I, I don't need your judging, judging eyes. Shut up. All right, so that's it for this episode. So let's go. The, the new season has begun, and welcome to 2022. And they had a rookie mini camp this week. I'll do some digging on that and see what I can find and put that expert Bengals spin on it, baby. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to spread the word. Twitter. I'm on TikTok. Look, man, I know TikTok's for young punk kids, but I got a plan here, all right? I'm bringing up the young pups. Then when they actually know what's going on with football, they come over here, huh? It's smart, baby. So, whatever. So, all right. Be sure to subscribe. And as always, Bengals. Hey, Kappa, Collins. Uh, Karis, Volson, Jackson, 
And of course, Williams, protect Joe, everybody, the whole city and everybody. It's going to be great. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon, baby. Hootay.